Aksha. Um, now this little lesson today is going to be about light. Now I've always thought light is light, and this is what I'm going to try and prove to you. That now with the digital age and white balancing, we can use any light. Now, on one of my first videos, I used a little halogen light to shoot a bottle in a glass. Now, we're going to try and do the same thing with a portrait, but I'm going to do it in a different way because I'm going to compare different lights, different types of lights. We're going to compare halogens um, with a studio strobe and with um, an economy bulb light. And you'll be amazed, I think, I hope, at the, at the difference. Now, what it, my biggest problem was to find a model. What I needed was someone, a, ma a man, because I'm going to do one of these very dramatic sort of lights, half and half. And, so it has to be a man, it wouldn't look right a woman. And I needed someone sort of with a rugged face, a bit of Rambo, and handsome and full of life, you know, that type of guy. So I looked all over Toulouse, couldn't find anyone. But then I suddenly realised I could do it. I fit the bill perfectly. Well, now the only problem is I really need to shave and I don't need to shave. So I'm gonna, in a couple of days I'm going to be sort of shooting this, but I mean, you'll see it straight away, of course. Now, you have to know about white balance if you're going to try this sort of thing. So if you haven't, look at my film on white balance, when you finish this, of course. At the end of this video, um, I'll give you my conclusions and I'll show you the three pictures together. So I hope you'll enjoy this one. Let's get on. Now that's the halogen shot. Now that's very simply done by a sheet of tracing paper in a picture frame. And of course, the halogen lamp just behind it. Now it's just a, whoa, it's just a, a silly little halogen lamp. Now that's very interesting that you can get that sort of quality, you can get that sort of quality from uh, a silly little lamp. Well, it's not bad, is it? So you can do a lot of things with it. It's good fun. And you see, it doesn't spread that far onto the background if you see the picture, because in fact, it, it was turned a bit more that way. Uh, I've got, I'm looking into a screen at the moment, because that's the only way I can see it. Uh, so you can control it a bit on the background. Now, what I forgot to point out was the background is in fact white paper. Um, I've done that deliberately just to see how the light uh, will flow, uh, bouncing off the ceiling, etc., etc. Now the exposure, I know a lot of you would know about exposure, that's a 400 ISO and we're at a 60th of a second at 5.6. Now we'll go on and compare it with a studio flashlight and we might be uh, quite surprised at the difference. Now that um, is with the flash head. Now it's a standard flash head like that, studio flash head. Um, if you ever hear it rattle, it's because the reflector rattles. But other than that, it's a very good quality flashlight. Now that was done at uh, f22 at 100 ISO uh, because, of course, it's very, very close to my face, so incredibly powerful. Now the other light, of course, was in the same place. Now I do that because you get a very fast fall off. Um, now I'll do a lesson about that because there's a particular law or rule, no it's not really a rule, it's something that happens um, when light is close or further away, so I'll do a lesson on that as well. But anyway, that is a standard flash through the tracing paper. Uh, exposure as I said 22, so let's get on now comparing it with a standard light bulb in a very cheap uh, reflector that came from Ikea or some other show. Okay, let's get on with that. Now this one was done with one of these, uh, very good, in fact what it is, it's a light um, that I stole out of the dining room. It can also of course be used as an Aladdin hat, very good. But so it's got multi-use, it's got in it um, one of those economy bulbs, I'm having to look in the television again. Uh, got an economy bulb in it and that's a 23 watt they call it economy bulb, so it must be equivalent to about 100 watt normal bulb. But those bulbs you can get up to about 125 watts, they're a bit bigger, um, 
but they give out a lot of light. Now colour balancing that isn't too easy, the camera didn't really want to do it on his own and I've got as near as I can. But on the other hand, once it's into Photoshop we can also uh, colour balance it a bit, so that's not too much of a problem. It's a much bigger light of course, so it gives a bigger spread, Oops. gives a bigger spread so it will spill onto the background more. So now we get on and look at the three together and I'll give you my opinions and my experiences with them. You can give yours as well, but I won't be able to hear them. Well, I suppose we have to have a look now. These are the three together. Um, has anyone noticed a deliberate mistake? Um, yes, in the first one I've still got my reading glasses on. Now, let's have a look at them one by one. This first one, which is the halogen, you see what you can get when you look at the hand you can get a nice movement in the hand because um, it's only shot at a sixtieth of a second um, you could also go down to a thirtieth get even more movement it's very sharp um, other than that it's a quite a hard light now I find it quite a nice light if you look under the rim of the glasses um, you'll see it's harder than the next one along which is the flash so the studio flash is a softer light. Now, of course, that's easy to change. Um, they're all through the same tracing paper. I could uh, use a lighter tracing paper that would solve that. So it's not that different. Now, as we go to the third one, which I think is very interesting, um, the major thing we see is the different colors of the shirt. Now, if you look at the background, it's a little bit more red. So it's, um, it's difficult and the face is a bit more yellow. So what we're talking about really is the color balance is a bit odd. Um, but it still makes a nice sharp image. So I'm actually quite impressed with all three. I think um, the major thing is when you look at the shirt, how that changes. If not, I think um, really you can do a portrait like that with any type of light. It's just a question of white balance and exposure. Well, there we are. I've just had a quick shave. <laughs> I'll go rid of all that. Um, now, if you enjoyed it, and I think you might have done, um, why don't you have a go with a little lamp around the house, upload your pictures to itchyphoto.com. Uh, it's just down there, itchyphoto.com. If you join that, it's free. You can upload your pictures, I can look at them, and I can give you an impression of what I think, if you'd like to. Um, anyway, if not, bye!